Hey guys, so I am back to finish off my book haul from the other day. Um, we got five, five more books came in. Um, there's one more book that won't be coming in um, until the end of the month because it was out of stock. But yeah, um, and then I just want to share with you guys one other cute little purchase that came in this week. So, the rest of the books that came in over the last two days, um, we got Little Miss Bronte's Weathering Heights, and this one is a weather book. So, it has things like breezy and windy, which is kind of the same thing as breezy, but I guess not as windy. Um, misty, snowy, so that's a fun one. Then we got um, Little Master Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island, which is a shape book. So, you know, square and heart, oval. Circle, things like that. And then the last three are all um, different Edgar books. These are all um, inspired by different Edgar Allan Poe stories. So the first one is another little board book. It's like the same size as the other ones. And this is Edward Gets Ready for, or Edgar, I don't know why I said Edward. Edgar Gets Ready for Bed. Um, and this is inspired by the Raven, so it's really cute. Um, it's got cute little illustrations in it, and it's just kind of a cute little story. And then the other two are bigger storybooks. We've got Edgar and the Treehouse of Usher, which is inspired by the fall of the House of Usher. So it's just got you know, the story, and, yeah, cute. And then, the last one is Edgar and the Tattletale Heart, which is inspired by the Telltale Heart. So, they're just fun little stories. Nothing, like, super in-depth, but I really like the illustrations in these. Super cute. So yeah, those are the last couple books that came in. Um, like I said, we do have one more coming in. Um, it's another one of these little board books, uh, but it won't be here till probably the end of the month. Um, but other than that, that's what's come in. Um, also, a couple weeks ago, I had ordered some leg warmers for her off of Etsy. Um, and they just came in yesterday or the day before. I can't remember. Um, so that's what they look like. They're red and gray and white and have little bows on them. Alabama themed. Um, she has a lot of little Alabama onesies, but not really any like pants or anything that go with them. So I thought these would be cute to wear and kind of add a little girly flair to it. So yeah, I got those. Um, if I can if I can remember, I'll put the link to the seller. Um, I can't remember the name of the seller right now. I think they were like ten dollars, something like that. They're super cute, and they seem really nicely made. So, yeah, I'm excited to put those on her. So those came in, and I've just been busy the last two days. Um, making hair bows. As you can see from the last time I showed you, this bow holder of hers is filling up quite well. And of all of these, the only ones I purchased were these two Alabama ones. I've made all of the other ones since then. So yeah, it's filling up pretty good. Um, I might have to improvise and either get another one of those I might get another one of those, um, just kind of stack them hanging on the wall. They're going to go right there behind the door. 
Um, so I actually do think I'm going to get another one because I think she's going to have a lot of hair bows. So, yeah. Just a tiny, quick little video. Wanted to show you guys the book. And, yeah. I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching. Bye.